Okay, some quick things before I read my challenge. Yes, I realized that this is Tuesday and not Monday. I forgot yesterday. Also, Dan, we are doing Harry Potter challenge this week. I hope to have my video for Thursday. Um, do yours sometime this week as well. Third thing is we are making the writing challenges weekly. So expect videos from me on Tuesdays and from Dan on Fridays. That is what we're doing from now on because we really like the writing challenges and I hope you guys like the writing challenges too. Now on to my challenge. The sun starts to vanish from the sky and the half moon slowly takes its reign over the earth. For a small amount of time, the sun and moon share a place in the blue sky. For a small amount of time, Opposites don't seem like they are in direct conflict. Dark and light, the sun and the moon, they can be one. As the sky grows pinker, redder, darker, and eventually black, the sun fades. Is it almost time? Almost, little one. Almost. People move around in the dark. Well, in the almost dark. Cars, streetlights, skyscrapers, houses, they all add too much light. I can't see, nor can they, but it's worse for them. One little girl stops and looks up at the sky. Her mother stops walking, still holding her hand, but chatting away on her phone as if nothing happened. The crowded sidewalks are used to blocks, and the people just split around the little girl and her mother. I don't like it here, Mom. She pulls on her mother's hand. I can't see the stars here. Allison. I'm on the phone. Allison gets pulled along by her mother, still looking up at the sky, her neck bent back as she tries to get a glimpse of the stars. She's not used to so much light, the light that blacks out the stars. I don't like it here, Mom. They continue to gaze down at the earth, farther above it than most can comprehend. Small visions of life down below leak through, but mostly the light is too bright for them to see. I can't see the people here. For years, there was nothing blocking our view of the earth. We can gaze at the humans, and they can gaze at us. They used us for many things. Directions, prophecy, astrology, astronomy. And humans even found shapes and recorded it. Now most of them are too busy to look up. Why can't we look down? They don't need us to watch over them anymore. The two stars look down on the world trying to see the people that used to love them. What they didn't know was there was one little girl below who still looked up. I hope you enjoyed that. As a reminder, me and Dan both have live journals and we post the weekly writing challenges, well, soon to be weekly writing challenges, in those live journals and links for those will always be in the Chamber of Secrets. Dan. We've been doing a lot of stories on this channel, and I kind of want to see some poetry. So my challenge for you is very vague this week. I want you to write a poem. That's it. Nothing more. That's all the direction you're getting. And I cannot wait to hear your poem on Friday. Bye.